hot yesterday. I think it hit 91 degrees, which is the hottest it's been here all summer. That's a heat wave for where we live, 91 degrees. But today it's been nice and cool. I think it's been in the low 80s. We've had rain, a lot of thunder and lightning, but it has been super, super cool. We've just been taking it easy today. We are going to talk about fruit trees today. A lot of people say the first thing you should do as soon as you get your homestead is plant fruit trees, plant fruit trees, plant fruit trees. And that makes a lot of sense. Um, a lot of trees take several years to fruit. It's a long-term um, homesteading commitment. It's not like a garden where you see that instant food in that first season with a lot of crops. You gotta wait sometimes years, sometimes five, six years, sometimes 15 years with pawpaw trees. Um, it is a long-term hope and a long-term um, homesteading relationship, I guess, commitment. We are lucky enough that when we moved here, we have several fruit trees already. We have two apple trees. We have two peach trees, kind of two and a half, but the other one doesn't really do much. Um, we have a plum tree. We have a couple of wildlife trees for the wildlife mainly. We have crab apple trees. We have a couple, um, I guess, mulberry trees in the back of the barn. I know people harvest those, but I haven't tried that yet. Seems like a lot of work for a little berry, but maybe one day. We have lots of walnut trees that we harvest and the wildlife enjoy. But I am going to suggest not to plant fruit trees as soon as you move in. That is what I did actually. I planted several other fruit trees. But it is hard to figure out exactly what you want to do as soon as you move in. Our main problem was we have horses, we have goats, we have the pet pig. And we also live in the mountain, so we live on a slope. A lot of our property is a slope. Even our pastures are not flat except in a few places. So basically what happened is I planted, I think, six or seven fruit trees. And then a year or two later, we had to do some semi-major construction with the building of the riding ring. We had to work on our driveway. We had to put up fencing, so I had to transplant some of these trees. Some of these trees I lost because it was just the wrong time of year to transplant a tree. So I would suggest first, just enjoy your homestead that first year. Think about your plans. Um, learn what your land is and what you want to do. Um, learn about the areas that get sun the areas that get shade, the areas that are easy to water. So I lost some of my fruit trees, but that's okay. I am going to plant a fig tree, which the girls love figs. I'm not even a big fan of figs, but I plant a lot of stuff for my family. Um, I know the girls enjoy them. But a fig tree is a great tree to get going. They're pretty hardy. A lot of them are cold hardy. Um, we live at about 3,000 feet, so if you live in certain areas of the country, you want to get a fig, a fig tree, a fig tree variety that fits your um, climate and habitat. So you want to make sure to do your research. I know that my fig tree is great for this area. I bought it locally and lots of people use this fig variety. So I'm going to go ahead and plant my fig tree but I'm planting it in a place that's a little bit sloped, but living in the mountains, you have to use every bit of land that you're able to use. We don't have the luxury of having lots of flat land here. So I am gonna go ahead and plant this fig tree, and I hope you um, enjoy our little planting.
hot. It's about 4.30 in the afternoon, I think. So I got my fig tree planted, and I know this is not the best time of year to plant fruit trees, but I've had that fig tree on my porch for about three months, and it's way too big for its container, and it's time for its roots to spread, and it's done pretty good on my porch. So I think the fig tree is going to be okay. I'm gonna to have to water the fig tree in a minute, a nice good soak. It is just so, so hot right now. I have a little thermometer that I hung on the barn here. So let's go see how hot it is. Any guesses? Let me see, let me see. It's almost 90 degrees, which like I said, for here, that's the second hottest day of our summer so far. I know 90 isn't much to most people, but if you live in the mountains of North Carolina, after a while, 90 is hot. So my advice to you, if you want to start an orchard, is you gotta start with one tree. An orchard doesn't start overnight, so you gotta plant that first tree. Um, you really want to figure out your long-term plan for your homestead. If you're not going to be there for more than a few years, you may not want to do fruit trees unless you're planting for the next owners. Um, people do love fruit trees on the property. That's usually a seller for um, a lot of homes, especially for people that like to homestead. Um, but you want to get a plan figured out. You want to figure out what type of fruit you actually will eat what type of fruit you can grow. And then I do a little bit of research. If you live in a certain zone that's maybe a zone away from, let's say, I don't know, peaches or apricots or anything like that, I say go ahead and take the risk. See if that tree will grow in your zone. Um, you may find a micro habitat, a micro climate somewhere on your property where you can grow something that you don't think you can. So with me, with orchards and gardening, it's all about experimenting. I like to try something new every year. If I don't, I don't feel like I'm growing as a homesteader. If I just keep doing the same thing over and over again and I'm not improving anything, then I'm not really learning anything new. So thanks for joining us. I'm gonna go inside. I'm going to relax and I'm gonna get out of this heat. So our goat is pregnant. Um, we're excited to see when that baby's gonna drop. So stay tuned for that as well. And please, if you like your channel, don't forget to like, subscribe, leave comments, and I'll do my best to answer them. Thanks. Whistle Thicket.